Hi friends, Miss Hughes here. So we are going to be reading the book called Tidy. We are still focusing in on making predictions. And so this book is written by Emily Gravett. Here we can see what looks like a skunk and he's throwing away something in a trash bin. So what do you think this book might be about? Let's continue to read to find out. So remember, we're always using our context clues when making predictions. And that could be also background knowledge too. If you have seen this before, maybe in a movie or a TV show, or you've experienced it in real life. Deep in the forest lived a badger named Pete, who tidied and cleaned and kept everything neat. He tidied the flowers by checking each patch and snipping off any that didn't quite match. He tidied the fox by grooming his fur. He entangled each knot and each twig and each burr. He tidied the birds from the big to the small by brushing their beaks and then bathing them all. So we know that the badger, it's not a skunk, it's a badger, um, it's very tidy, okay? So from now, I'm not sure if we can make any predictions, but maybe you could try making some predictions at home. What might happen next? Okay, he picked up stray sticks. He swept and he rubbed. He polished the rocks and he scoured and he scrubbed. So using our pictures here, what do you think he's going to clean next? We see that he's outside in the woods or forest. Let's see what else happens. So when a leaf fell, well, so now we know that the leaves are starting to fall. Of course, we can tell by the colors on the leaves that it is fall time. So the story here, by using the words in the pictures, I think we can make a prediction now that, hmm, maybe our friend Badger, he's going to want to pick up those leaves. And so here he even has a bag ready to go. If you made the same prediction at home, nice job. You're using your clues to help you. And here we see the falling leaves. Pete tidied up. But still he wasn't happy. Now the trees looked bare and scrappy. And so to make it all look neat, Pete undertook a mighty feat. Wow, I'm not sure if any of you could predict this at home, because that's a lot of trash bags. But we predicted he would pick up the leaves and we were correct. Now, what do you think he's going to do with these trees? Let's see if your predictions come true. He dug up every single tree. But then it rained. There was a flood. Now what do you think is going to happen? When we're looking at our pictures to give us clues, we know that rain causes what on the ground if the ground is dirt? Let's see what happens. And afterward, a lot of mud. So if you guess mud, you're correct. What do you think is going to do with that mud? Here we can see he has a shovel, or not a shovel, a mop and a bucket. He called in the diggers, he called in the mixers, he called in the concrete and rakers and fixers. What do you think he's going to do with that bulldozer? Hmm. And it says here that he's going to use concrete. Do you think he's going to try to cover up the mud? <gasps> No mud, no leaves, no mess, no trees. Perfectly tidy and perfectly neat. This forest is practically perfect, said Pete. So if you guess that by using your words in your pictures, you are absolutely correct. He covered it up with concrete. I'm hungry, he thought. I deserve a treat. So he hunted around for something to eat. But the beetles and worms that he usually found were under the concrete deep in the ground. 
And so Pete decided to go home instead. If he couldn't have dinner, he'd go straight to bed. But when he arrived and took out his key, there wasn't a door where the door used to be. So now what do you think's going to happen? He can't go underground to eat. Later that night, Pete tossed and he turned. His belly was empty. It rumbled and churned. As he lay in his mixer wide, wide awake, he started to think, I have made a mistake. So, so now what do you think's going to happen? Do you think he's going to go back and try to figure out how can I get that concrete back up? I don't know. What do you guys think? The very next morning when it got light, he set about trying to put everything right. So we can see here that he is trying to break up that concrete just as we predicted. Then the animals came from the strong to the weak and they lent him a paw or a claw or a beak. Now, if you predicted that the animals came to rescue, very nice job. I didn't even see that one coming. They put everything back as it always had been, but maybe less ordered and not quite as clean. And Pete, well, he promised to tidy up less, but if he succeeded is anyone's guess. So in the end, he wanted things back to the way they were, but he just wasn't quite as tidy as he imagined. All right. I really enjoy that book and I really enjoy the illustration. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the last pages of our very wonderful read along. Okay, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did.